my name is Mr. Duxon, and I'll be your instructor for this trigonometry presentation on circular functions. The purpose of this presentation is to define the circular functions in preparation for learning how to graph the six trigonometric functions. If we graph the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1 in a triangular coordinate system, we'd end up with a unit circle, a circle with its center at the origin and a radius one unit long. We'll be using the unit circle to help us understand the circular functions. However, before we even begin, I need to point out that circular functions do not I repeat, do not involve angles. If you saw the presentation titled Introduction to Functions, then you know that a function is a relationship between a set of input values and a set of output values in which some formula assigns to each input value one and only one output value. And if you saw the presentation on trigonometric functions, you know that their input values are angle measures corresponding to the central angle of a unit triangle. And their output values are the quotients obtained by dividing the length of one side of the unit triangle by the length of another, with six formulas designating which side is to be divided by which. The sine of angle theta equals side opposite divided by hypotenuse.